you have learned how to solve system of linear equation by using inverse matrix from a joint method. Now we are going to discuss about using inverse matrix obtained from property of AB equals to KI. Uh, now look at example 1. Given matrix A and matrix B, find the matrix AB and A inverse and solve the following linear equation. First, find matrix A B with multiply matrix A and matrix B. And then we get the answer of matrix with the element 16 0, 0 for the first row and then 0 16 0 for the second row 0 0 16 for the third row. Then factorize 16 out of the matrix to obtain identity matrix. Therefore, we get matrix AB is equals to 16 identity. Next, find A inverse. So now we are going to deduce A inverse from AB equals to 16i that we get from the previous solution. So multiply on the left by A inverse both sides. Remember, A inverse times A is identity and then uh, constant 16 can move in front. So, A inverse times identity, we will get A inverse itself. Same goes to identity times matrix B. We will get matrix B itself. Then, a inverse is equals to 1 over 16 times matrix B. Uh, next, substitute with matrix B into the equation. Then, write as a single matrix by expanding constant 1 over 16 with the element in matrix B. Hence, solve the following equation. So, these are the three linear equations. In order to solve the system, or in other words, to find x, y, and z, first, rewrite the linear equation in metric form. If you can see that the element of the first row are the coefficient of variable x, y, and z in the first equation. And then, the element of the second row are the coefficient in second equation and element of the third row are the coefficient of variable x, y and z in the third equation. Then, write the variable matrix with the element x, y and z equals to uh, non matrix with the element 7, 5, and 1 that we get from the constant value from the equations. If you can see that the element in this matrix is equals to matrix A, uh, you can refer to the question, then label the matrix as matrix A. And this is variable matrix and label as x and equals to non metric label as c why cannot label as metric b because metric b is already exist you can refer to the question to solve for x y and z uh, deduce from a x equals to c by multiplying on the left by a inverse both sides then simplify. So A inverse times A is equals to identity matrix. Then identity matrix times X is equals to X itself. So X is equals to A inverse times matrix C. Remember, Cannot use other methods such as a joint method or Kramer's rule in order to solve the system because of hands. So, solve the system by finding uh, inverse matrix 
using property of AB equals to KI. Then, substitute with matrix A inverse and matrix C. Multiply both matrix to get this column matrix. Then, write the element out of matrix form. So, we get X, Y and Z is equals to 1. 